Hi everyone and welcome to the second class of chapter 4. So in the last class we discussed about different kinds of materials and we learnt that different objects are made of different materials. Today let's discuss about the properties of materials. So in order to make different objects we need materials, right? We need different materials. For that, we need to choose different materials. So, how to choose these materials? Based on their properties, right? Now, let's discuss about the properties of materials such as appearance, hardness, float and sink, transparency, conduction of heat, conduction of electricity and solubility. So, in this class, we will be discussing the first three properties of materials that is appearance, hardness, then float and sink. Moving to the first one that is appearance. So, what is appearance? The appearance can be defined by color, texture or combination of color and texture. That means how a thing looks like its color, its texture, etc. So that is appearance. Different materials look different from each other. That is metals like gold, silver, aluminium. So these are very shiny. That is we can say they are lustrous. What about wood? What about the material wood? Does it look shiny? No, it doesn't look shiny, right? It looks very dull. So, some materials are very shiny, that is they are lustrous, whereas some materials are very dull, they are non-lustrous. So, materials look different from each other. So, metals like these gold, silver, these are used to make ornaments. So, the first property is appearance. How does it look like? What about its color? What about its texture? That is appearance. So, some materials looks very shiny. What about some other materials? It looks very dull. That is non lustrous. So, that is the first property. So, what is the first property? That is appearance. Coming to the next is hardness or smoothness. So, some materials are very hard while some materials are very soft. For example, rock. Is it a hard material or a soft material? It is hard, right? So, we cannot break it easily or we cannot cut them easily. So, these materials are very hard. Metals, rocks, glass. So, all these materials are very, very hard. You cannot compress these materials easily or you cannot just cut them or break these materials easily. Why? Because these materials are very, very hard hard while some other materials are very soft for example cotton balls wool paper so these materials are very soft you can easily compress them you can easily cut them you can easily scratch them so these materials are very soft so that is the second property of materials that is hardness or smoothness moving to the third property of materials that is float and sink. Another important property. So, some materials float in water while some materials sink in water. So, if you take some objects and if you just drop it in the water, you can see some float on the water while some sink in the water. So, if you take a wooden object and a plastic ball or a plastic bottle, or you just drop it in the water, what happens? It will remain on the surface of the water. It stay on the surface of the water. That is, it floats on water. So, these objects float on water. So, why these wooden objects and plastic objects float in water? Why? Because the wood and plastic are lighter than water. They are less dense than water. So, what about if you take a rock or a 
iron ball or a metal nail and just drop it into the water. What happens? Will it float? No, it will sink into the water. Why? Because these objects are heavier than water. They are dense than water. So that these objects sink in water. So you all have learnt about mass. So what is mass? Mass is the amount of matter contained in the object. Right. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. Let's take the example of a glass bowl. So what is the mass of a glass bowl? It is the amount of glass contained in it. Right. So if an object has lot of matter and a certain amount of volume, then it has high density. Volume means the space occupied by an object. So if an object has lot of matter and certain amount of volume, then that object has high density. Understood? Okay. Then every pure substance has a definite density. What is the meaning of pure substance? Substances that are made of same type of particles or same type of atoms, we call it as pure substances. So pure substances has a definite density. The other important thing is whether the substance floats or sink depends on the density of two substances. So that is if an object has lot of matter and a certain amount of volume then that object has high density. If an object has small amount of matter and small amount of volume then it has low density. So whether a substance float or sink it depends on the density of that substance. So that is about the third property float and sink. So some materials float in water because that materials are lighter than water. They are less dense than water. So that is why these objects float in water. While some objects sink in water. Why? Because they are heavier than water. They are dense than water. So that is why these materials sink in water. So coming to the next, you have an activity in page number 42. That is, you can take a button, you can take a cup of, you can take a cap of a bottle, a pen and a few monk or gram seeds in water. You have to drop these things into water. You have to drop a button, a cap of a bottle, a pen and a few monk or gram seeds, anyone you can choose and you have to drop them in water. Then you have to find out which of these things float in water and which of these things sink in water. So this is an activity for you and you can record your observation. And once you are done, you can submit in Microsoft Teams. So I hope you all understood about the topic that is properties of materials. And in that we discussed about the first three properties that is appearance, the second one is hardness, and the third one is float and sink. In the coming class, we'll be discussing the rest of the properties of materials. So till then, thank you.